Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another word from the Lord. We are in Joshua chapter 5 verse 6 as well as Exodus chapter 4 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Lord Jesus. Bless the listeners, help us to heed the word and walk in it. In Jesus name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, Joshua chapter five, verse six, for the people of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness until all the nation, the men of war who came out of Egypt perished because they did not obey the voice of the Lord. The Lord swore to them that he would not let them see the land that the Lord had sworn to their fathers to give to us a land flowing with milk and honey. All right, and so this is Joshua speaking to um, the children of Israel and just reviewing where they have come from, right? That their parents um, wouldn't be able to see this land flowing with milk and honey because what? They perished because they did not obey the voice of the Lord. They, you know, and in a day and age where we live, we can actually hear the voice of the Lord directly. And and many of us just, you know, I'm not even going to speak it, but, you know, we have to obey and heed the voice of the Lord, you know, and that's a daily thing. That's an interactive thing. That is um, a thing of allowance. You have to allow that Holy Spirit to continue to speak to you and not resist him. And, and, you know, it's important. Why? Because if you want to see the blessing, if you want to see the flow, if you want to to live in that land flowing with milk and honey, that, that is, um, you're going to have to listen to the voice of the Lord, right? You're going to have, if you're making him Lord, then you're going to listen to his voice, right? Because when you Lord over someone, that means that you rule over them. If you're making Christ your ruler, then you need to make him your ruler and let him rule, right? It says they did not obey the voice of the Lord. The Lord swore to them that he would not let them see the land that the Lord had sworn to their fathers to give to us a land flowing with milk and honey. And the completion verse today is Exodus chapter four, verse three. And he said, throw it on the ground. So he threw it on the ground and it became a serpent and Moses ran from it. (laughs) All right. And so um, this is speaking about, you know, the beginning of it all, right? When when Moses was called to come to that bush um, and he was speaking in the wilderness and he was speaking, um, uh, to the Lord through this bush, you know, this was in the wilderness, right? This was, this was it starting with a miracle in the wilderness. And, you know, that is the conflation today is that, you know, God created this miracle with his staff in the wilderness. And he told Moses to throw it on the ground, right? And, and he, he, he was performing a great miracle there. Right. He was doing something mighty there and it, it could have ended up in a land of milk and honey from this one little miracle. Right. From this first little step. Right. It, it could have ended in a land of milk and honey. But instead of ending there, it ended in the wilderness again. Right. He was in the wilderness when he was told to throw down the staff and he and they ended up in the wilderness in the end. Right. It, if you want to come into that promised land that was promised to your forefathers, to to the previous generations, if you want to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, you must obey. Right. What's the thing in between? What's the what ha, what would have made the difference? Right. It's obedience. God started with a small miracle and continued miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle, both in Egypt and in the wilderness. But it ended in the wilderness because they had not obeyed God, right? 
we need to throw our lives down like Moses threw this staff down and we need to run from it. We need to throw these situations that are keeping us from God, throw this flesh down and run from it, right? Because we need to know that it it, it could end in the wilderness. Don't let your life end in the wilderness. Don't let it start in the wilderness and end in the wilderness. Don't let it start in sin and end in sin. Don't let it start in in a disobedient spirit and end in a disobedient spirit. Obey God. That's the only thing that, that kept them from that promised land, that land flowing with milk and honey. Why? Look at it. It says, um, the men of war who came out of Egypt perished because they did not obey the voice of the Lord. The Lord swore to them that he would not let them see the land of the Lord had sworn to their fathers to give to us a land flowing with milk and honey. Wow. It says for the people of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness Until all the nation, the men of war who came out of Egypt perished. God sees us. He sees our walking. He sees our obedience as well as our disobedience. But the difference is we have a covering now. We have one who will atone our sins when we sin. So allow that atonement. Allow that freedom, but most of all, obey the voice of the Lord as he's leading and guiding you into all truth. He's left us his Holy Spirit so we can do greater things than he did, not go and turn around and walk in disobedience. That's not his will for us. Amen. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Well, let me give the invitation. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus, let me pray first. Lord God, thank you for this word. Thank you that we will walk in obedience. Thank you that you are the leader and we are following you out of disobedience. Lord, help us to walk in your ways and help us to be blessed in them. Help us to run from our old ways and into the new ways that you have set before us and help us to run into the blessing of milk and honey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if it may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord may he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.